I've got one pumped up rugby ball and one that is slightly deflated. I'm going to show you the effect that your kicking foot has on the rugby ball when you're making impact and why forward tilt and rolling the seams out might help you gain a little bit more control. So the ball valve point there towards target. I make contact with the ball a third of the way up, especially if I'm using a lower kicking tee. You can see that with a straight up and down ball, the ball compresses, I make good contact and that's going to give me feedback and control of the rugby ball. Tilt the ball out and roll it forward. It makes the surface a little bit bigger, which just means when you're getting through your kicking session, give you a little bit more feedback, a little bit more control and maybe a nicer strike and nicer feeling on your boot. If we just stand the ball directly straight up and down, when we're standing at the back of the mark, visually we don't have the best view of that sweet spot. As soon as we lean that ball forward, it exposes that big back part of the ball and in our brain we've got a better visual cue of the exact point that we want to hit with our kicking foot. 